What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, my people? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share. Tell a friend to tell a friend that this is the new podcast to be a part of, and that's just on. Welcome back, you guys. It's time for another Hoochie Daddies review. Season 2, Episode 3, and Episode 4. We're going to combine these together, so keep up, honey. Keep up. We got the steps of getting ready. I want to see what these girls, these girls doing, man. I know I'm here. Okay, so yeah, like I said, episode three was a little laid back. Hopefully, we don't have no more of those because we don't need no laid back episodes. We we need to, we need to pipe it up every episode, period. Um, what I feel like Woody's doing right here is she's trying to get the girls to talking because this is a competition and y'all ain't acting like this is a competition. Like I said on the episode, my first episode, my first commentary of the whole show, that the studs are laid back. Studs are laid back. They don't have time for all that extra. Extra, extra, extra stuff. If this was a female show or a male show, the fights would have been broken out by now. Let's be real. It's going to take an outspoken, one of those going to have to, one of those girls going to have to be very outspoken for anything to pop off on him. But we're going to see. doesn't have all her screws together. Sometimes I catch her dazing. Sometimes I catch her just looking around and half the time I ask her a question, she don't know the answer. Okay, so um, Woody asks all the girls, who do you think wasn't the brightest of them all? Um, and all of them said 24K. Um, in the comment section, I need to know how y'all feel about that. Me personally, I don't want to judge her on the third episode. I want to get to know her a little bit more before I really just put my mouth on her. Um, she's definitely different. I wouldn't say she's not bright. I definitely wouldn't say that. But she's definitely different. And we're going to get into that as we get to know her. But, yeah, I think the autism comment was a little overboard. Like, Woody, come on. Uh, y'all getting fucked up? Yeah. 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 I want to know. I want to get to know you, some guys. So let's see. Um, how y'all feel about 50-50 on the way? Huh? How y'all feel about 50-50 on the way? Yeah. Yeah. What I want to know is that. I ain't going 50-50 in there. Ty, 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 how you feel about 50-50 on the way? I mean, whatever you and your partner are comfortable with, do that. But what I feel on it, since I'm playing that dominant role, like, of course, like, I feel like I'm going to carry, like, the most weight, especially from the bread one. Like, I'm going to probably take on, like, an extra meal or something like that, just so we can, you know, both kind of say, but, that's you know, whatever. Whatever, she, you know, whatever we agree upon right now, she, she has enough. How many of y'all think y'all should be paying all the bills? Oh. Well, I get on with them. Excuse me, I'm sorry. So, Woody asked the girls um, how they felt about going 50-50 on rent with their significant other. Um, which was a great question. Mm, because everybody had different opinions, which was really, really, really interesting. Um, I think I'm more with Ty on this situation. I'm with the 50-50. I'm all about 50-50. You don't do no more than me. I don't do no more than you. If you get in a jam. And you can't get out of it, then I got you, vice versa. But it's definitely 50-50 on everything. And definitely 50-50 on rent, period. You just don't know how long a person's going to be around. That's how I feel. Now, if you got it like that, hey, then hey, do what you do. Because I done had people, you know, that I done dealt with that wanted to take care of everything. You can quit your job and all. And that was a problem. Let's be clear. That was definitely the problem. Um, But I'm with the 50-50. Oh 
bitch. I thought we were clapping, bitch. That's Carter the Body. Stop playing. My first time meeting Carter the Body, for real. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yo, so y'all know who she is? I see her with her boyfriend. Yeah. 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 No. You don't know who Carter the Mighty is? She said she's seen her on TV because I seen her on BET before, but I really didn't recognize her right away. And this is one of the reasons why I said I cannot judge 24K right now because this is one of the situations where I can connect with her on. A lot of people are probably going to be like, how you? How the fuck you don't know Carter the Mighty? Well, if you put me in a house and you bring on a guest and one of the guests is a famous or a celebrity gay guy. I mean, I know that guy. I'm not into the houses. I'm not into the families. I'm not into the ballroom. I'm not into none of that. I'm more in the lesbian world. So I get it. Everybody's just not into the follow the leader, follow the celebrity, follow the trend type shit. And I can tell that she's not that type of person. So you just might not know some of these people. Like, that. I, I, I felt her on that. I felt her on that. So, yeah, we're we not going to judge 24K right now. We're not going to say she's not uh, bright, bruh. What's good, y'all? Today is a good day to be gifted and wealthy. Yes, sir. 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 Yeah, I know we talked about that 50-50 earlier, right? So today you guys will have to carry your own weight. We have our Hoochie Mama models right here, Peaches and CC. They will be assisting us in today's competition. What you Hoochie daddies have to do is carry one of these ladies on your back or over your shoulder. Up this incline hill, you have to touch that bench and come back. The cast member with the quickest time will get a point towards the competition. That was a dope ass challenge. Let's be clear. That was a dope ass challenge. <laughs> and I know that shit was not easy. I know it wasn't easy. Shouts out to Twitter, okay? Who held her motherfucking ground, bitch? Stop motherfucking playing. Y'all can stop playing with my friend about these motherfucking challenges. Stop playing. And shouts out to Baby who won that with asthma. It's not a physical thing, y'all. It's a mental thing. I keep telling y'all stop playing. So shouts out to them for that, Woody. This was a hot ass challenge. Really hot challenge. Just put y'all bitches to the motherfucking test. <laughs> Raw. She's a nerd. I knew you was damn bitch. I was trying to take over for you. You gonna come right back. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, they put that harsh and they'll say nothing. Like, <laughs> As you can be the girl. I'm gonna be the nigga out there. There. I there. You a twerk on Woody. Okay, there's nothing. Throw that ass. Throw that ass. Throw that ass. Throw that ass. Everybody don't know when I was at the audition. I got cussed out for bending over on Woo, so shit. Let me do it again since the fact you know you want to make another argument. Just perfect, you know. Took this ass up, baby, on that mug. Tongue wrestle, milk. Mm -hmm. Let me shake his ass, mommy, baby. Let me show you what a feel can do. <laughs> yeah, you know. Can we be real for one second? Can we be real for one second? Ra is carrying this show. On her back. And way better than she was carrying that bitch. Let's be clear. Leave it up to Rod to give us a laugh. Leave it up to Rod to give us some real shit. Leave it up to Rod to give us some, some tea. Some, get, leave we appreciate Rod for being on this show. And it's not because he's my best friend. I done told y'all this. If she was doing some fucked up shit, I'd call her out. But let's be clear. My friend is entertaining. It kind of mess. All right, let's go. Yeah, I don't trust you. Uh, is it true? You, you fucked the trainer. I beat your mess with Kim Me what? Yes. What do I gotta do, baby? Baby, what do I gotta do? What do I gotta do? I dare you with me. Slapbox, 
And on that note, <laughs> if you have not watched episode three, make sure y'all go check that out right now because we're finna go right on over to episode four. I told y'all I'm making up for y'all tonight. I'm giving giving it to you for all the days that I missed. So we're finna go right on to episode four. I appreciate y'all for watching this video. Um, season Daddy, season two, episode three, period. Let's go to four. <laughs> 